how's it going today so i want to show you guys how to run lead gen forms in facebook and how do you connect them to go high level and the sub account of your client if internally used same procedures if you've got new clients same procedures apply so this is a simple flow chart that i've just put together regarding it so let's just discuss the beginnings of it all obviously the first thing you need to look at doing is obviously creating the first form if you have not you create a form if you can duplicate you'll probably do that depending on the offer change and so on um, it will become second nature as you go about it second thing you need to do is go back to goha level um, our app internally for the clients and select the sub account that you need and once you've selected the sub account go to the settings portion once you've gone to the settings portion we need to obviously go to integrations and make sure that the clients facebook and instagram account are connected as well as a google account if it is not connected already make sure those are connected because you will only be able to go further than this um, you'll then have to look on the top there as there are other menus i'll show you now an, ex an example but um, you need to go to facebook or meta integrations where you'll find all the necessary forms that you've created for the client. Once you've done that, you're going to have to map the form and do so for all necessary forms if they have not been mapped. Once it says complete or mapped, then we can go on to the next step, which is click on the, go to the main menu again in the sub account, go to automations, and then we can create a workflow. Now in the workflow portion of things, we can either create a new workflow. If it is a duplicate of an existing offer, we are going to just duplicate the old workflow or make the necessary changes inside that existing workflow. Sometimes you'll see that clients have an offer change where the price might just differ due to maybe resources, etc. And then we just have to make a simple adjustment to the automation. So you're going to create a new workflow, name the workflow according to the special or the promo that is currently at offer. And then once you've entered that, we're going to obviously have to set a trigger and then we can create the workflow so the trigger you need to make sure that you select the facebook submitted or facebook form submitted one depending if you've now gone and made these we are talking specifically about instant forms on facebook so we're going to show you an example about this in a short while but just make sure facebook form submitted make sure you select uh, inform and once you've done inform the exact form that you are trying to get the information from you need to select that as well then we can create the automations around email one email two and etc like i said here our client who has the sub account needs to have our highest lead gen package to enable more than two emails um, and also the whatsapp functionality that we all have in integrated as well so if they are not on that you do not include this you can always offer this to the client on your own for an extra price make sure by accounts or the head of department about what are the prices currently and then go forth to the client about that but without that being too dragged out email one is the typical introduction you know the pe people have just claimed the offer on the platform so like facebook or instagram they've claimed the offer and inserted their details so the first thing you need to do is send them an intro or a welcome or a congratulations for claiming the offer um, click this if you want to go see the template and then the second email is typically a reminder maybe a day or so afterwards um, or maybe later that day depending on how your client would like it uh, set up if they've left it up, up to you um, send the reminder out whenever you feel is necessary and then also you can do whatsapp integration here i will make a second video regarding this but it is going to be short and sweet you use the sms functionality to do whatsapp depending if the client has our highest lead gen package they cannot have this without that okay so let's go and do an example here quickly if you want to find this let me know uh, or the head of the department can send you a link to this uh, flow or sop let's do an existing example so this client we've created a new form for um, if we just go and look at the existing so we created a new form we did this new offer called the g5 body slimming at 250 rand all we have to do is when you go down to i'm not going to show you the whole setup but when you go to the add section here as you can see we've created many forms for this client in the past you're going to either have to create a new one or look for the old offer that they had in this case there was an old offer of a 200 rand g5 body slimming so all i did was duplicate that form and i went and made my details as necessary you know go through the form itself make it a new name for the offer existing make sure you change the necessary details if you do duplications this client is very simple in the sense that because it's a beauty salon they just collect the basic information privacy policy to the client's website wherever they have that uh, we always 
implement something like a review screen for clients that want very high quality leads. Um, and then obviously book now and the client's details. So I'm not going to duplicate this one again. We've currently got it duplicated. So this is the form we need to go and link to go high level. So let me take you through that process. We're in the account. We go down to settings. Uh, we're in the sub account. Lindy's Beauty Salon. We're going to go to settings and we're going to go to integrations. Under integrations, you'll see that her accounts are connected. It takes a bit long, but her accounts are connected. And we need to go to Facebook form field mapping. Now, as you can see, I've already done this, but all you need to do is it will have a green button here saying map fields. All you need to do is click that. And once you click it, you just make sure that full name is connected with full name, email, email, phone number, phone number, and you say update. Once that is done, it will give you a green tick and the status will be on, which means that this form has now been mapped or completed. Then the next step in our process is to go back to the main menu and we go down to automations. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is if there is currently a G5 special, in this case, there should be one. So here is one that we ran in October. All I'm going to do is duplicate this, right? But for the instance of this video, let me just quickly create a scratch, a, a flow from scratch. I'm not going to duplicate it. We'll just name this exactly how we've named the form itself. I'll just call it that. Um, rename it to the 250 G5 body slimming treatment. Now we zoom out a little bit. We have to add a trigger, as I mentioned earlier. So the first thing we need to look for is form. Okay, now we obviously haven't got a landing page, so we cannot use this one. We haven't got a TikTok or a LinkedIn as well. So we only need the Facebook one because we are running instant forms on Facebook. We need to add filters to it, and we need to click in form. It's a standard form. And then we need to make sure we select the G5 250 one. And if you want to make sure, just make sure you go back and you look at exactly the name that you've put here, which will link to this um, Go High Level account because we've mapped it now. And you make sure you're selecting the exact same form. Once that is selected, like I said in the SOP document, first thing we are going to do is we need to go down to email or no, excuse me. The first thing we always do is create the opportunity inside the client's pipeline. Otherwise, the client won't have this lead show up at all. So I like to remove the update piece because you're not updating. We're adding them to the client's pipeline. As you can see, there's only one pipeline. So in this, we are going to then say we are going to put them under new lead because that's where they are going to be laying. And then we're going to put a name to this. So the name I like to put to it is similar to the promo or the offer at hand. So 250 G5 body slimming treatment. And then we're going to add the client's or the contact's detail. So first name and a cell phone number, which probably would be the best for them to see right out of the bat. All right. We don't necessarily have to worry about the opportunity source. We know it's coming from Facebook. The value, we don't know exactly yet because she's got different packages for G5 Slimming. So it's difficult to put a value to this. However, I'm just going to leave every other setting as is, and we're just going to save the action. So now... Once the form has been submitted, it's going to automatically go and create the opportunity inside the pipeline for the client. And then we need to make sure that we send an email. So sending an email, I'll grab a template that we normally send to the clients and then just paste it in here so you can see what it will look like. Okay, so I've created the email for you guys now so you don't have to watch me doing it. All you have to do is obviously put in the from name. Either you can go and select the user itself of the account. I've just put in the salon's name here. And then the from email is obviously the user's email. If it's not linked to the account, you're just going to have to type it in here. And then subject line, I like to put in contact name. So we scream out who it's for and then say congratulations on claiming the offer that they did. And then here's how to book. Okay, because that's what we want them to do in this instance. Then here's a typical email that we've used for the salon. Um, hi, so first name, congratulations on claiming the offer. To book here, there is a cur currently the client uses a separate booking system for the, um, you know, arranging the bookings on their website. So they can do that or they can phone or, or email. And then um, also we have the client's price list attached to the pr um, email from their website. And then we like to also just add the image that we used for the client's ads um, on Facebook. Just so that people, when they see this, they know exactly that they did fill in something for this and it looks very familiar. Um, and you can send a test email to yourself if you want to. Um, after that, you're going to save the actions because that's now the email done. If the client, like I said, is part of our high, 
high paid lead pay, um, the highest paid package for lead generation. Sorry for my damn English, but if they are, we need to then add in a separate uh, automation here, which is SMS. So this client's account has been already connected with the WhatsApp integration, and I'm not going to go through that in this video. But if they have that already, you need to use the what SMS functionality because that is how it works inside here um, under Go High Level. And we're going to send them a WhatsApp as well. And that WhatsApp is pretty, pretty much going to be exactly the same as the email. Um, obviously, keep in mind it is a WhatsApp, so you don't want to make it too crazy long. And then just attach the image itself as well because the client will get it in their phone on WhatsApp. Um, and then that will make them realize that they did fill in something and that they've already received communication. Um, I prefer to make these a lot shorter. So if you want to, obviously there's no linking available inside of this. You'd have to type out the entire um, URL if you'd want it to be linked. So I just clear anything that is linkable um, and then leave it as is. Prefer to test it, you know, to, sending it to yourself if you do that let's just show you an example i'm going to send it to my own personal whatsapp now and then you can have a look at how this would show up inside your inbox um, as soon as it will pitch up okay it's been sent successfully we should receive it soon and there is her account activating it as you can see now you, there is the image that will be part of the ads and there is the exact integration whatsapp that we just typed out so it looks very neat very tidy you can imagine if a client gets this they know exactly what they filled in for and they're going to claim pretty hastily all right so save this action we're going to close that off and now that is an automation complete with integration of the form from facebook to go high level i hope this video was helpful if not reach out to us anyone in the head of department or management can help you out thanks